Hi, how you doing? My name is Steven DeGracia, also known as Ask One Mac Tech. Um, I just wanted to make these quick tutorial videos on how to uh, install uh, Monkey Admin and uh, Auto Packager, and how to get it going and how to get it to update your software on your computers. A little bit about me, um, I work for a college institution. Uh, I manage uh, the Mac Labs and uh, faculty and staff laptops and iMacs and so on. Um, been doing it for a long time. Uh, I just recently came across uh, Monkey because, you know, I, I wanted to find out how to keep uh, certain software updated, like uh, the infamous Flash Player, <laughs> Flash Player, uh, Firefox, uh, Chrome, Office 2011 updates, and so on. You know, I mean, because we kept going out there and just individually updating it. And it was just crazy, you know. It's like, got to be a way, you know. And, you know, we don't have the best support for the enterprise, you know, um, area. But there is an awesome Mac community that, do, that does have a lot of support. And I will give the links in the descriptions uh, when these videos are out. So you can go there and visit them. Um, I got a lot of help, a lot of help. So, um, so I'm just going to show you uh, what you know where I'm at and how I did it. And right now I have uh, Monkey running, and it's updating a few of my labs. And I plan to get them um, implemented in all my labs. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I saw it in action, and I was jumping for joy. I was like, "Yay!" <laughs> so let's get started. Um, basically, uh, just go to GitHub.com right here github.com and you just get a free account I'm gonna sign in and here we go alright see if I can get in here alright so I have these bookmarked ahead of time so I'm gonna go straight there um, but what you have you what you can do is just type in monkey monkey admin here in the search area and just go and just go hit, uh, hit return and go here and uh, so basically um, monkey admin you'll see here scroll down and go ahead and read all this and what we want to do is go how to get monkey admin so we're gonna go here to releases page releases page click that and we're gonna download monkey 1.0.2 I already did so um, no need for me to download it so go ahead and download that next we're gonna go to auto packager which I already have bookmarked but you can type up here auto packager right here auto packager 1.1.1 and um, click uh, actually come down here put it down here and uh, download it right here okay so once you do that, um, you're going you're gonna to want to either run this. What I do is I run it on uh, the server app, and uh, act, I turn on the uh, web server area. So I'm going to go over there right now, and let me grab it. It's my other computer. So you're going to want to use server app, and you want to come down here. If you if you're not familiar with server app, um, get familiar with it. Um, it's not hard. Um, if you want me to make some video, video tutorials for that, uh, I can. Uh, but there's plenty of video tutorials on YouTube you can look at. But uh, down here, you want to go to come down to websites right here. Okay. So go ahead and select websites, and you want to turn it on. And then uh, once it's on. We want to come right over here to server. Oh, actually, we want to enable PHP web applications. So enable that, and we're going to click server website and double click. And uh, since I don't have uh, my repo set up yet, I did it earlier. I, I'm just I deleted everything so I can recreate it to make this video. So just go ahead and um, um, once it's activated, don't worry about it. Um, just make sure it's turned on, enable PHP, and we'll come back to this later. Okay, so we're going to collapse this down. So I down downloaded uh, 
monkey admin already and auto packager so we're going to go to the downloads area right here and we are going to install monkey admin and we're going to drag it in to the applications folder and scroll down here oh, there's monkey monkeys right there We'll drag it in here and we're going to close and we're going to double click and start up monkey admin okay once you start up it's looking for the the folders the repository so we're going to cancel out of here and what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to once you have it open once you cancel we're going to go over here to file and we're going to make we're going to make these folders so we're going to make re repository new repository so we're going to click that and you can put it anywhere you want I'm going to put it here in users and in shared and what you want to do is name it so uh, name it uh, whatever you want I'm going to name it just default just um, a monkey underscore repo so just monkey underscore repo and once I do that it's gonna it's going to save uh, that folder into there there we go so now if we go back here, let's collapse this. We're going to come right over here, double click, and we're going to go to users, and we're going to go to the shared folder. And once we click this, we're going to get a bunch of folders. We're going to get catalogs. We don't have anything in there yet. We're going to, uh, uh, we have icons. We don't have anything in there yet. No manifests, no installers, and no metadata. But you'll see how this, how this all comes into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to monkey admin and we are going to make a new manifest okay so here it's going to automatically go it's going to in, it's going to name a new manifest in manifest folder here okay so basically what we're going to do is what i do at work is i just name the manifest like my lab name like uh you know the names of my lab or you could do the names of the building where your computers are or you know you can name it like faculty laptops whatever because these are these are these are the manifest the clients are going to read to say okay we we need these certain installers uh, or certain apps to be installed or the updates to be installed on that machine so for here for home i'm going to use you know my initials, and since this is a 27-inch iMac, I'm just going to say iMac. So I'm just going to go SDG-iMac. Save. And then, then next, we're going to create new catalog. I'm just going to name this the same way. SDG-iMac. These are going to be the catalog. All right. So... We're going to come back over here, users, shared, Re monkey repo, we got catalogs, no icons yet, I'll show you that later, we got the manifests, no installers and no metadata yet, so that's fine. Okay, now, since we have all that set up, what we're going to do, we're going to double click this, we're going to go install um, Auto Packager. So let's go over here and we're going to install Auto Packager. This is a great piece of software. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to just drag it into the folder, or the applications folder. Grab that. There it is. We're going to just drag it in here. Oh, I'm going to get rid of these while I'm here. Excuse me. It's an eyesore. <laughs> okay. Trash. All right. So we're going to double click Auto Packager. Now, this is what you would do if you're using the command line to install Auto Package. But this is Auto Packager, and this is a uh, GUI. So we're going we're gonna to launch it. It's really easy. So the repos and recipes. 
So here's the uh, repositories and um, https github.com auto package recipe.git and these are individuals that have created the, these recipes for software to go and get software updates the software itself and updates when they come out so we're gonna just check these all of these I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch, watch me check in one sec. Okay, got one more here. All right. Okay. So basically, um, say, you know, you need a uh, Flash Player, um, uh, what, uh, Firefox, Chrome, all that. What you want to do is come right over here and uh, type in let's say flash player flash and there you go so here's flash player so what you want to do is come down here and it says Adobe flash player so you're going to check this all right and so once you're going to check that and uh, say you want Firefox we're going to type in Firefox and there it is Mon uh, firefox.monkey we're going to check that now let's do Chrome Oops, can't type. All right, so we come down here. Here's Google Chrome. We're gonna check that. Uh, what? What's, what's another one? Um, let's see. There's Chrome, Firefox, um, Skype. There it is, Skype. So we'll just stick with those. Oh, Office updates. Office update. There you go. MS Office Updates Monkey. Okay. So we'll just check those. Here for schedule, um, you can schedule uh, Auto Packager to check for new versions of the apps for updates. Um, one, two, three, four. I, I work, I have mine, I think mine for three or four hours. So just go ahead and check these. And. Um, can put in here. I'll, I'll do this one for uh, let's see, four hours. So every four hours, this is going to auto start. Just go out and check, see if there's any new versions. Um, uh, we can hit update e repos just to make sure everything's updated. And once this is done, down here, we can email or you know e have email. Uh, notifications so I get emails saying you know that you know you got new updates so I know that when I get back to work I can apply these updates if, if you know if it's necessary or just do it at the end of the week you know but uh, down here you can just configure your email I'm just gonna configure mine and I just use my Gmail account this paste it in here and since if you're using Gmail just cop this type what it says here smtp dot gmail .com. in here just use the port 465 and then uh, user authentication and then of course SSL, test, and then you test. Should go through, and then you'll get a notification. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check, we're gonna check for the app. So um, we're gonna click that, and as you see up here, you'll see it looking. Oh, we have use, okay, so let's see what's going on. folder there and that's it so if you got if you got that error like I just did make sure that monkeys it's going to the repo the right folder okay so let's do this again so now it's going out and checking for the latest updates of Adobe Flash Firefox whatever we checked uh, in the where the recipe repos are 
um, what was it, Chrome, Firefox, Adobe Flash, Skype. So it's going to go through, and it should be added. So I'm going to show you where it's at even. Okay, so it has Adobe Flash Player. See how it's adding them? Now it's adding apps. There's Firefox. It's Firefox. It's pretty cool, huh? I like that. Now it should look for Google. Google Chrome. And it will add them into the packages folder. See how it added Google there? It's downloading the DMG, the installer. Now it's going to download Skype. There's Skype right there. Now it's going to download MS Office 2011. I think this is pretty cool. I, I really, I mean, when you see it in action in your lab, you're like, wow, this is cool, man. See it do the Apple updates and then all the updates that you need for your computers in the lab, man, it's it's just it's nice. It's nice. So it's almost done here. So there we go, Office 2011. And it downloads the latest update, 1446. Okay, so that's all we checked. So we checked, we checked them here. When you click all of these, you're gonna you get a wider range of software. Let's see, all of that. So if you can also add. I, um, I haven't done that yet, so in later videos I will show you once I learn that. But if somebody knows this already, let me know. So. Just to recap, we installed it. We checked all of these so we can get um, you know, a, lot, uh, a more uh, variety of software to check. So we checked all of these. Scheduling, you can schedule, like I said, for this will schedule if you have it for an hour. An hour from now, this will start up and go check for new updates. So it depends on what you want to do at home or at your lab at work. Um, you can do it for 12 hours, 72 hours, or when you're doing testing, just do it for one hour. Or you can just check immediately, just hit check apps and update your repos, just click that, and then you can send yourself some notifications. And then make sure um, that the monkey repos choose the right folder that it needs to go to that you created. Leave these alone. And uh, if you're using uh, JJS, JAMPS, uh, I don't use it, so, but it looks like that you can uh, integrate uh, Auto Packager with JAMPS here. So we're going to collapse that and we're going to bring Monkey Admin up. So for Monkey Admin here, since now we downloaded everything, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring them in. We're going to import the installers in the metadata in. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit reload right here. Okay, reload. And there we go. Boom. So this is what we checked. So we got Adobe Flash, Firefox, Google Chrome, Office Updates, and Skype. So I'm going to end this video. Uh, I don't want to make it too long, and I'm, I will. Um, Make another one explaining how to get this going. Monkey Adam. Okay? I'll talk to you later.